Hello again. So a long time ago when Thomas Bjorn had hair, he was interviewed and he was asked, how does he take on a golf course? And he says he splits it up into little three hole golf courses. And out of the three holes, he looks for the one that's going to give, cause him some trouble that he's got to play carefully and get a par on. And he looks for the easiest one, the one that he hopes to make a birdie on. And if all goes to plan, he shoots a 66. Now here's a question for you. Why can't we do the same with the help of our handicaps? Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Right then, I'm going to play four sets of three holes and identify as different handicaps and tell you what's going through my mind and how we might tackle each group of three. So for the first three holes, I'm going to be a 13 handicap. So I get a shot on all three. Now the first hole, we don't know where the ball is going. So this is the tricky one. And just to prove a point, I obviously don't know where the ball is going. Fortunately, we have a shot. So even though we're going to play hockey down this hole, we can get our net par. The third hole, it's the difficult one. It's the long par three. That's the one where the double bogey is lurking. So strangely, I think the easy one, the one that we really want to target for our net birdie is the second, which is stroke index five. Now, had we got a decent tee shot away, we might just have got that net birdie here. But I think the second hole, with it being downwind and the ground is firm, is going to play short. So this could well be the hole that we want to get on net birdie on out of the three. So with a handful of luck, we've managed to achieve that. Now we go on to the third, and as I say, this is the hole that's the difficult one. We've actually got a double bogey lurking in those bunkers. So we can play short of the green. And it's a good job I did today, because the ground is so hard. This ball jumped about 25 yards to the right. Now we still actually have a net birdie chance. All we need is a decent chip. Although with the bunker being between us and the flag, we've got to play away and the net birdie chance is going to be longer than we'd really like. But we still had that chance because we gave the hole a little respect off the tee box. Now we go to the fourth and let's switch to being an 18 handicap. Now this one is a little awkward. You got a blind tee shot, you got rock hard ground, you got trees on the right and the green has got a couple of bunkers which can really bite us if we're not sh sure what we're doing. Now with a 7 iron, I think we can go straight at this green. Because even if we do muck it up, we've got a shot. We can get the net par in the bank and move on. Because this is the middle of the three holes. It's not the hardest one. It's not the easiest one. The net par is just fine. And we weren't far off that net birdie that we've been looking for. Now the fifth hole is stroke index one. This is the toughie. 
and because it's a toughie and it's downwind and the ground's hard we'll show it some respect and just hit a three wood now as it happened I absolutely nutted that one and it went miles I got 128 to the front you might have 168 to the front so we play short and we play left only this time I haven't got it left this is why this is the difficult one and when you chip it on it just rolls a mile away from the flag so we didn't quite get our net birdie but we weren't expecting it either now on to six this is the hole I think we should be targeting for the next for the net birdie it's wide enough if we play down the right with our little fade or our little slice we get onto the flat portion and then we're faced with a very large green with just the one bunker and that bunker we can take out of play by playing left so we found the middle hole we found the hard hole now we have found the easy hole all it requires is a decent putt and we've got our net birdie and we're one under for the three holes now we switch to 24 handicap because we're 24 handicap we aren't taking on this par 3 we're gonna hit an iron that comes up short of the bunkers so we take the pressure off the shot we take the danger out, out of the shot and all we're left with is a chip and run up the green and if you're lucky and you've done a bit of practice perhaps this is the hole that you get your net birdie on now the par 5 and we've got these two enormous trees that dominate us so we don't want to get too close and I didn't because I hit that 5 wood pretty skanky but by being so far back from these two enormous trees we've actually got more options we put loft in our hand which helps us hit it straight with it downwind and the firm ground we get far enough down the hole that the next shot is actually quite easy it's an 8 iron that gives us another opportunity to get that minus one for three holes now you're gonna have to forgive me a little bit because I obviously I am a five handicap but you can see or hopefully you can see what I'm talking about now this is the hardest this is stroke three but we get two shots so this is the easy hole so we take a hybrid off the tee more loft less pressure easier to hit straight we don't try and push our way all the way down to the green we take a seven iron more loft short shaft easier to hit straight and if you don't fancy a sand wedge off a down slope on rock hard ground goodness knows I don't then what's wrong with an old man's chip and run all right on this particular hole you've got to accept that you have no control where it's going to finish because it's going to roll down the hill but this is the hole the two shot hole any two shot hole where a 24 handicap can target that minus one score now I'm gonna play as me I get a shot on the 12th 10 and 11 I don't now this is the easy one it's a three-tiered green but I'm going into the green with my shortest club all right some days it's more but going in with a short club gives me the low handicapper the chance to get it close and the guys on the next tee said I almost hold it so I have got my minus one 
The 11th, the par 3. Four bunkers. I know the caption only shows two. And quite a narrow entrance. So this is the middling hole. This is the hole where we need a little bit of caution. And we can just take our par. However, if I didn't get my birdie on 10, then I most certainly had a chance here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll walk off 11 with a 3 any day of the week and not complain. Now here's the hardest one. And the reason that I have to get a real birdie is because this is not a net birdie hole. Some days it's a net bogey hole. An awkward shot, but for me, doable. I think I can get this right up by the green. Until I hit it as fat as you like. So there you go. Tell me what you think. Can you go to your golf course now and play as little three hole competitions? Figure out which hole is the easy one, which hole is the hard one, which hole is the middling one. Can you go minus one for three holes? Tuck that score away, then go to the next three holes and figure out how you'll get minus one for those three holes. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.